Namo Namaha. Well, we're now at the last of our five classes of stops. These are called the labials, the p varga. As a quick review, the first one, the velars, these were articulated at the vellum, the back of the mouth, the throat area. We call them the k varga. Second is the palatals. These are articulated on the soft part of the back of your mouth. Uh, which are called the cha varga. Third was the retroflex. These were the hard palate, the, also called the alveolar ridge. Uh, and this is the ta varga. Fourth are the dentals. These are pronounced by touching the tongue on the teeth. Uh, and we call them the ta varga. <coughs> Fifth now are the labials. They're going to be made by touching the lips together. And it's a very, very simple process to do. Pa is unvoiced and unaspirated. Pa is unvoiced, but you do have the aspiration. You do have that puff of air. Pa. Ba is voiced, but not aspirated. So the voice box vibrates, but no puff of air. Ba. And then ba is both voiced and aspirated. You have a vibration and a puff of air. Ba. Lastly, we have the nasal of the labial class, the M sound, the ma. Very straightforward, nothing weird about it at all. The only thing to note about the labials is that Sanskrit doesn't have a fa sound, that pa is always pronounced like all the other sounds in the class with the two lips touching each other, not uh, the teeth involved. So. Phalam means fruit in Sanskrit, and you don't say phalam. That would be like Marathi or Hindi or some other North Indian language. So pr practice these, practice all the other classes. Be sure to combine them again with the long and short vowels so you're getting the long short practice. Pa, pa, pi, pi, pu, pu, pa, pa, pi, pi, pu, pu, ba, ba, bi, bi, bu, bu, ba, ba, bi, bi, bu, bu, ma, ma, mi, mi, mu, mu. So uh, that's it. Great. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Keep it up. You're almost through the whole syllabary now. Once you feel like you've got a handle on all of these vargas, uh, next time we'll turn to the other consonants that I said ignore these for now, right? There's eight more consonants left. Uh, they're called the sub semi, semi vowels and the sibilants. So thanks for watching. Keep up the good work and see you next time. Danyavadaha. Mm -hmm.